I just wanted to make a video to talk about, to, to share a breakthrough that I had in terms of realizing how I think because like the more and more I get to know myself, my, the self that is the real me that for years got buried not knowing that I'm on the spectrum and quite significantly on the spectrum, you know, like I said in my, in my Asperger's or autistic video, I'm not, you know, I'm not just sort of like just barely, I'm sort of almost a bit further in, like you would almost say in between if you're gonna categorize it, kind of where I feel I fit. I feel like I'm almost more than just Asperger's. I feel that I speak like an Aspie, Asperger, if you will, but I feel that internally, I'm almost more autistic than people um, think. And it's starting to come out more and more as I get, you know, because I have to deal with fibromyalgia, it, it's becoming out more and more. It's becoming increasingly um, difficult for me um, you know, to sort of communicate in a way that I that I sort of felt like I had to for a while, and then I got burnt out from doing it. So I want to share about how I think that I think, and I'm pretty sure about it. Um, everybody on the spectrum is different. Temple Grandin always said people think um, in either like pictures, patterns, or words. Um, I have established before that I think that I, the uh, first thing that I think is patterns, definitely not words. And I always was like, well, how can that be? Because I script a, a lot to myself and I t sometimes talk excessively. Um, but if I don't take breaks to go and shut down and like, you know, kind of like process in my head, I, um, will start like going on and on, it frustrates me because I'll be trying to express what I need to express and I'll just go on a tangent about one aspect of it that I'm able to find words for and then the other stuff that I haven't been able to find those words for yet, I can't, I can't talk about it. Um, so it's almost like it's not there even though it's in the back of my mind and it's subconsciously there. I have to, um, I see patterns in my head and they go really fast and they move and they're so quick that it's hard for me to actually describe what they what they look like. So another therapeutic th thing that I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start drawing. I'm gonna start doing my pop art again to express what I'm thinking in my head in the in terms of these patterns because what happens is these patterns, they're like picture picture patterns or they might even, they're not pictures, they're code and, and they're so, they're colors, you know, like like spectrum colors, you know, like over here, like I associate, because I'm also a very sensory feeling person. So these patterns are not just like dry logical code. They're very artistic as well. Um, and they're sort of like, you know, say I'm thinking I want to talk about, you know, this concept. Oh, well, I sort of think my working memory, uh, when I'm trying to process something sort of applies things like and it's musical and then I have to from there it's all like this and it's like you know triangle over here it means and they mean things and I have to be like you know what I think I should do I think that if this was too hard that we should try and change it and do this because tomorrow morning we have to get up early and you know and then I'm going to start doing our con concepts or anything I have to talk to whatever those pictures I'm seeing are I have to talk to myself about them because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing words first. I'm seeing these pictures, these maps, and I have to be like and I'm trying I have having to translate them to myself to understand myself because I don't think in in human language first. I think in some other language. God knows where that where it even God knows where it even comes from. Um and 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 like, you know, I edit these videos a lot and like as you can guys probably observe uh, I, I, I appear to be looking at you but when I'm talking I'm looking up that's because I'm I'm referring to the pictures and I'm trying to attach words to them because the next thing that happens which is why drawing is so therapeutic because I think the drawing will slow down my script because sometimes my script can really really overstimulate me and make me anxious um, I think the drawing can help me, you know, make like word, you know, sort of artistic word maps and, you know, I can draw maps 
out for concepts and you know I can draw first you know I, I am very much an abstract artist that's because I see these abstract artistic patterns in my head so I draw what I'm seeing you know and I definitely need colors that's why I bought myself a huge set of colored pens um, little fine tipped pens and I you know I make like a shape you know and it's sort of like a a plethora pattern it's really almost like the you know I'm gonna almost draw it here for you like um it's like patterns you know but it's like an artistic pattern you know there's different concepts and they all you know, I'm like, oh, you know, it would be really nice to relax and then we have to go and, you know, go outside into the sunshine and kind of like go to the park, wander around, and then we've got to do this thing here. I've got to make dinner. It's going to, you know, then I'm going to prepare for tomorrow and it's going to, you know, ha like a structure part. And then this part, you know, branches off into here and that's more like just um, electrical waves of being... Um, I don't know how to describe it really, uh, but like this will mean something and I'll see them there. They'll be 10 million times more than what I just drew to you now. This is like four of them. There's like 4,000 or you know, 400, maybe not 4,000, but you know, 400, 40 to 400, depending on how complicated my mind, that my whatever I'm having to solve is. Because to me, everything is to solve. Um, it's all to solve. Whatever it is, basic, complicated, it's to solve. Everything that I do is to solve. Um, so, but it's like, I creatively think about it, solve it. I get these pictures in my head and I'm like, oh, we could do this, this, and I see it. And then I have to stamp words onto it. And then those make a sentence. And then I talk to myself and I talk at my husband. And it really drives him nuts because he... He doesn't script like that anymore, and he says he doesn't, and see, he and I had different um, adolescence. He didn't have as much of a painful adolescence as I did, by far. He was able to basically um, meditate and travel and do stuff like that, and I didn't get that opportunity. I was surviving and performing, and so I never got the opportunity to really learn the right coping mechanisms, so I'm still stuck in that script. Um, my husband said he used to talk a lot, people would accuse him of lying. In my last video I spoke about how, because I, when I speak it's very scripted, and I'm, you know, I'm talking about this language, I'm scripting this language that I'm seeing from those picture patterns, and applying, see, you know, human behaviors that I've observed and learned to them. And because I can't, because I can't read the face as well as, as other, as, you know, neurotypical people can, I'm not exactly imitating, I'm, I'm imitating the expression with the script and then it looks like I'm, that I'm, I've, you know, calculated it and I'm lying about it and I'm not. I just don't know how to inherently behave and it's not as if it's obvious, this like slighter social awkwardness because I had to sort of tone it down and hone it as much as I could, but ultimately um, I'm going to be a little bit on the scripted side and a little bit on the animated side when I can't really see your facial expression very well because I have that astigmatism. I'm going to see it like this, like a guess who game, like, hey, how's it, hey, how's it going? I can't even do it in a normal way because I don't know what that is. I can't see it. Or like, hmm, you know, like, hmm, hmm, you know, like I, to me, I, ha I in order to like recognize a facial expression it has to be exaggerated which is why people that are kind of kind of have really subtle emotions make me nervous because I can't read them and people that are actually like Spanish or Italian or you know people that have very clear expressions and use gestures I'm very I feel a lot more at ease with them so um yeah so basically you know you can you can put those things together. So that's what my husband said is that when he scripted what he, the picture patterns he saw, and he doesn't, because he's autistic, doesn't understand how to perfectly imitate facial expressions in a neurotypical way that when he can't see them, so he's imitating them in a way that looks phony to somebody. Well, then yes, you will get taken in all kinds of wrong ways. 
So that continues to happen to me relent fairly relentlessly, which is why I have support workers and why I have to, why I do my blogs and why I, you know, write and try and create awareness because it's not very, it's not very nice because I'm not really doing anything wrong. It's just my brain and the way that I work.